Hey guys, so today I'm going to be filming my May favorites and I know I haven't filmed a video or I haven't been on my filming schedule very well because I do have school to finish up and I'm also filling a lot of orders for my online store so filming has kind of taken a back burner. But I am here today to film my May favorites and I'm super excited because I have a lot of good products to show you guys this month or from last month. So let's just go ahead and get started. So the first products I'm going to start off with is makeup and I'm going to start off with eye products. So from the Naked 2 palette... My favorite color is Chopper, which is right here. And I did already swatch it because I already started, I already filmed this video once and it did not come out okay. But anyways, this is Chopper. And I love anything bronzy, like any bronzy eyeshadows for the summer because when you put them on, you just look even more like tan and glowy. I don't know if you can see that I am tanner. I have been tanning in the tanning beds. And I know it's terrible for your skin and whatever, but I'm doing it, so I'm sorry. <laughs> um, the next eyeshadow is from the Too Faced Natural Eye Palette, which looks like this, and Push Up, which is right here. It's another bronzy color. This one's a little bit darker, and it looks like this. It's right above Chopper right here. It's kind of hard to see, but it's so beautiful. <clears throat> Sorry. I think I'm coming down with a cold, so... Anyways, my next favorite, and this is like the whole palette, the Naked Basics palette. I have been loving everything in this palette this month. I've even been using the black, and I haven't done like a black smoky eye in the longest time. Like, I used to wear them daily, like, but now, I mean, I have used it, just I've been using it to like set my eyeliner, and I do use it mixed with faint just to kind of darken up my crease, but all of these colors is like a really big dip in Naked too. but all of them I've just been loving so, so much. So, my next favorite, I think, oh, I have one last eye favorite. It's the Urban Decay, like, single shadow. This is in Midnight Cowboy. And it just looks like this. This color is amazing. Like, I cannot even explain how amazing this is. It's on top. And it is, like, glittery and shimmery. This is, like, the most amazing eyeshadow for summer, period. Like, when you have a tan, it just enhances your tan so, so much. And I sometimes will just put this on my lids. And then that's it for the rest of my makeup, and I'll just do mascara. Today I'm doing a really simple look. I just have mascara and lipstick on, and if you're wondering what I'm wearing, it's Max Impassioned, and it just looks like this. This isn't a favorite yet because I've only worn it today for this video, so I don't know if I'm like obsessed with it yet. But <laughs> anyways, my I do have a lip favorite this month, and it's Lime Crime. I kept it in its packaging. It's Geradium. I think that's how you say it. I've heard it said different ways, but I'm pretty sure it's Geradium, and it looks like this. I'm hoping that'll focus. And their packaging is, let me like swivel it. Oh my God, it's like adorable. It's purple and it has like holographic unicorns and then it says lime crime and hologram. But this color, oh my gosh, it is like the brightest coral. You're not even gonna be able to like see how true it is on camera, but let me swatch it like over here. That's one swatch, and it's like not even showing up true to color. It looks like reddish on camera, but in real life, it's like this hot, hot coral, and it's just so beautiful. It's right here. I don't think you're going to be able to see like how true it is, but... I've taken Instagram photos wearing it, so if you go through, I'll, or I'll put it in here or something. Um, wearing this, I do have a picture saying exactly what I'm wearing, and it's this. So it's just absolutely beautiful, and I'm obsessed with it. I lied. I do have one more eye favorite. I almost forgot. This is the Color Tattoo um, by Maybelline 24-hour um, eyeshadow in Precious Pearl. And I thought that this was the dupe for the MAC Paint Pot in Bear Study, which I do have, but it's not. Um, this is like the white one. And it's still really pretty. I'll swatch it a little bit for you um, over here. It's just like a white, um, pearly base, but I don't know which one is the dupe for Bear Study, so if you know what it is, I know it was limited edition, if you can just, like, leave it down below the name of it, because I do want to purchase that to see if it is comparable to the MAC one, but that's what the Precious Pearl looks like, and I just put this on my, um, lid, because you put this all over your, all over your eye, and then do your makeup, it, like, everything is wicked shimmery, and it's just, it's too much, at least for me. So I just put it on my lid and I pack some color on top of it and then I'll just do my crease and everything else so that it's not so shimmery. Okay, my next favorites are face products and they're all powders. The first one is, I think it's the Wet n Wild color icon. It's like rubbed off. But this is in 
ticket to Brazil, right? Yeah, ticket to Brazil. And it's just a huge bronzer. And I don't know if I'm crazy, but I think it's scented. Like, it smells kind of like a tanning lotion. But it's just a really nice bronzy color. Like, let me... It's swatched right there. I don't use this on my face. I have used this to the contour, but it's too shimmery for me. Um, I don't know if you can see, but there are shimmers in there. But I just use this to warm up my neck because my neck doesn't tan as well in the tanning beds as like the rest of my body. My face doesn't tan at all. Like I don't even try to tan my face. I put a towel over it to protect my face. Um, but I do like to use this on my body um, to kind of warm it up. Or the only time I will use this on my face is if I want to be like really bronzed and I'll just put it on the high points of my face. Um, but I don't often do that because this can pull a little bit orange. So it definitely is very bronzy, but if you put too much of it on, it can pull orange. So the next face product is the MAC Bone Beige Emphasize Sculpt and Shape Powder. And this, I honestly don't even know if this is available anymore. I'm almost sure that this was limited edition. But it looks like this. And this is, emphas or this is Emphasize and this is Bone Beige, right? Or maybe the other way around. I don't know. Anyways, um, I use this pot powder right here, which is like, um, it has a little bit of shimmers in it. Let me swatch it down here. It's like a white powder with a little bit of shimmer in it. And I use that to set my under eye concealer. And I also use it today on top of my eyes, like on my lids and stuff, just to set that concealer. Um, I saw that in Jaclyn Hill's video that she had it. She mentioned that she was using this. And I was like, oh, I have that powder too. And I would use this like to highlight my cheekbones occasionally, but honestly, I don't find it to be that amazing to do that with. But I love it for the under eye. Like, it's amazing. Like, it doesn't leave it shimmery. It just leaves it like nice and glowing and beautiful. And I also have been using the brown contour shade, which isn't too intense, which is nice. Like, you have to swatch it a lot to get any color. I'll swatch it down here. Like, you can't even see it. But I like to use this to contour with. Um, just a little bit so it's not too intense and this has been like a new favorite of mine. Okay, my last face product, like powder product, is the NARS Orgasm Blush. And it just looks like this. I think we all know what the Orgasm Blush looks like. It's just beautiful. Let me swatch it. Um, I'm running out of swatching space. Here it is down here. And it is just beautiful. I've been wearing this a lot this month. I find that this is a lot better when I'm really tan, or a lot, a little bit more tan. I'm not extremely tan right now, but when I am more tan, I like to use this because it's not as vibrant and it's not like, because when I'm paler, it doesn't look as nice. So I love this when I'm tan, and I break this out every single summer, and I still have a ton left. I think I've had this for like three years now, so I love this product. Another face product I have, but it's not a powder, it's the Urban Decay D Slick Extra Large Oil Control Makeup Setting Spray. And it just looks like this. And when I first started using this, I hated it. I didn't think that it set my makeup or it helped me from getting oily or anything like that. I thought like I like I didn't have I didn't when I used it then I didn't have any results with it. Um, so I started using the Victoria's Secret one and I loved it. But then I started to find that it wasn't working as well. I guess my face got used to it or my foundation got used to it or whatever. But I broke this out again and I started using it and I really did notice a difference that my face was not oily and it looked really nice and everything like it my makeup definitely lasted longer when I used this so they have repackaged it since now so it's like in the really sleek white bottle with like the purple top or whatever but they are still making it so I'll link it down below I have a brush favorite this month and I haven't had a brush favorite a brush favorite in a long time but this is the BH Cosmetics it doesn't have like a name but it is their stippling brush and it just looks like this and I have forgotten how much I love like stippling brushes. I used this with my Revlon Color Stay, which I just got another one of, and it is a favorite, but I've mentioned it before a lot, so I figured, you know, whatever. But if you, oh, actually, let me do mention it just so I can tell you what shade I am in case any of you guys are looking my color. I do have it in the 350 Rich Tan, so it looks like this. And it's a little bit darker than it shows on camera. It does match me almost perfectly. It is a little bit ashy though. Um, but I like that better than the warmer shades because they pull orange, but I do like this a lot. And I put it on with this brush, and this came from BH Cosmetics, the haul I just did. I haven't filmed it yet. I'm probably going to film it right after this. Um, I have a huge collective haul, but anyhow, this is just an amazing brush. They do sell this on their own, on its own. I got this in the 36-piece brush set, which is amazing. <laughs> I got it for $23, so anyways... 
I will link all that info down below. Last favorite are my hair extensions that I'm wearing this month. I did finally get my Bellamy hair extensions. And um, I just had to email her. I guess that there was like a little bit of an issue after we won. Um, we didn't get our extensions right away. So I emailed them just to say like, you know, hey, just want to check in, blah, blah, blah. So she didn't, actually Nikki didn't know that they weren't sent out yet. She thought we already received them and we didn't. So I did email her. So I was glad that I did that. Um, this is the packaging. These are just like the, um, the hair nets that come in. So I don't think it's anything crazy, but it's just the hair. Her, um, wait, what is it called? Oh my god, what is it called? Her logo, oh my god, that's crazy. Her logo was here under like this hairnet. I'll just grab this out really quick. The packaging is really cute. Um, it just comes like this. And they, I was sent the 160 gram 20, 20 inch because they've been sold out of the 22, 220 gram extensions. Um, but the packaging is really cute. There's like a little tester here. It comes with one clip so that you can clip it in and see if it matches. It actually matches my hair really well. Um, I was a little bit skeptical when I first opened it because they looked a lot different in color because I had been wearing, let me find one of the ones that I was wearing, the matted mess of head candy, which is this straggly nasty mess like it is so dry ugh, and disgusting like you feel these and they're so soft like I have, a, I have to do an in-depth review because these are just so amazing but as you can see the color well on camera doesn't look that much different but these are a lot more golden and I was like oh I don't know if they're gonna match but I put them in and they match amazingly and I, ha I have read on their website that they have like the color match like it's um they have different tones in them so they blend really well with a lot of different hair tones and I got the color um, 613, which is beach blonde, and they match really well because I thought ash blonde, when I hear ash, I just kind of stray away because I don't like the ashy blonde on myself. I think it looks great on other people, but I like the more, you know, golden blondes, like kind of California blonde. I will have a very in-depth review coming on these soon. I'm, I really don't have anything bad to say about them at all. I can't even think of any cons at this point. Um, they're just so amazing and um, I'm obsessed so this is definitely a favorite this month. Okay so I hope you guys enjoyed my May favorites and look out for my collective haul which will be coming up soon so thank you guys so much for watching. Bye!